Well, ISRO has accomplished one thing for sure. Like for instance, we do not worry about the launch anymore. We only talk about the payloads. So congratulations on the launch. In fact, like one thing I would like to clarify is that like nobody's worried about the PSN3 launch anymore. Everybody's only talking about the payload. What does this say about ISRO? See, uh, we need to achieve similar, you know, this condition that we need to we don't have to worry about any mission at all because whatever we want to you know targeting must be accomplished. But you know, it doesn't give us complacence. No, we, not, no success can be taken for granted. Any rocket launch can fail. We know it very well. So we take all the care and precaution. That's why it's shown, shown up it as success. It's not by the confidence that it goes very well. It absolutely is an humble answer. We have the head over here, Rajarajan. Rajan. 99 launches have been done and we are looking towards the 100. Congratulations, first of all, on the PSLV C60. It was a textbook launch. What do you want to say about that? It's a, a PSLV is a, our workhorse, no doubt about it. And uh, the entire system has been become is very robust. The launch vehicle itself is a very robust system. And in spite of the many conditions that we have put, usually November, December is actually an inclement weather condition. But PSLE and this one is a very good robust vehicle. So we are able, we are con very confident about that vehicle. So we are able to take it to the required orbit in a precise manner without any observations or any event. So that's a very satisfying moment when you see that we integrate through a back-to-back -back launch in the same month and since the, from the same pad, from the same launch pad. It speaks about the professionalism that is SDC Shah has been put in place along with the entire team from Vikram Sarabhai, LPSC and all those other centers. So it argues well that we have a very well-knit professional team to spruce up the launch pad and come back for a same similar type of launch and put the orbit in the desired orbit. It's a, altogether a different orbit and then reorient the and the poem. And many experiments are possible in this launch vehicle. All those interactions happen in a very quick around time. Even though there is a cyclone conditions and other things, within this weather god permitting, we have moved the, all the stages in time, launched, uh, assembled it, and made the, all the checkouts, and then coming out very well in a very satisfying manner. It always augurs well for the, for the professionalism professionalism that is shown by this team. Sir, I would simply say it's absolutely astonishing that ISRO has mastered defying gravity. So my second question would be, what is the actual condition of HRLV right now and uh, how far are we with the Gaganyan mission? No, HRLV, all the solid motors are being now assembled. You know that uh, all the actuations are solid. The, we already started the G1 trying to mission. So we are trying to put the all the solid motors assembled and keeping it ready and checking all the fine moments. All the safety aspect, everything has been put. We are also going with multiple launch campaigns, GSLV, also we, all the vehicle integrations going on. So we have many launch vehicles going on now, presently. Earlier, Minister Jitendra Singh, while speaking to India Today, he has stated that 2025 is going to be a very big year for ISRO, especially with HRLV. So what is the kind of like step-by-step -step missions that have you, pla you have planned for 2025 when it comes to Gaganyan? But Gaganyan requires not only uh, G1 and all the follow-on missions, and uh, this one, we are also looking at Many about many things called for and about how do we do how to see so we have a lot of in the, uh, integrated airdrop similar to airdrop airdrop test the pad about test and then uh, TLV test launch vehicle but different altitude we about and see how it, we can bring the Gaganyatris back back to earth safely so all these experimental will simultaneously parallelly go along with the G1 G2 missions and all this. so this is a, a very exciting time to try out all these things. Because we never look at about whether it is to make sure that we can bring at any point of movement in the entire mission, if any anomaly happens, how, to, how we can bring the Gaganyatris back to Earth safe. So many experiments are put in line that we are planning to do. And as uh, Honorable Minister has put, it is an exciting time with a lot of series of tests doing planned for Gaganyan program. So what is going to be the 100th mission for ISRO's uh, launch, sir? Yeah, 100th mission is supposed to be JSL 15. It looks like the best on the readiness of launch vehicle. It may happen in the coming months. Thank you so much, sir. So we have the actual magicians who are defying gravity inside ISRO through their launches. Very clearly mentioning there is far more planned for the future of India. Divya, from Madhav, for Instagram.